already have a very nice potion room in my base, well organized, with all the ingredients, even for the new 1.21 potions, but I still have to brew all my potions manually. It's time for an upgrade. So, quick spoiler, right beside the iron farm and the automatic smelter, I'm about to add a new industrial revolution style building to brew different potions with a mere click of a button. Okay, that's my awesome super smelter and I think the potion brewer should be right here, not on the hill, but instead of the hill. Ah, I knew I would have teared it down someday, that's why I didn't terraform this area. I'm sure one thing, an industrial style building requires a lot of bricks. Let's see if there is any clay left around here. Hey, look where we ended up the Greek jungle village from a previous video. It's really beautiful, even at night. Now, let's fly to the super smelter to cook everything. So I set up a beacon, bring a set of enchanted tools and start to dig, clearing the space that I need without worrying about how it looks, at least for now. The automatic brewer will be about the same size of the other buildings, but I want it to look more elegant, because it's not a factory, it could be a place where the workers can gather after a long day of work. Yes, I'm thinking about an industrial style pub. If you're curious about where I take my inspiration from this portion of my world, the answer is simple. They are all real buildings, even if some of them have been destroyed or repurposed decades ago. For the smelter slash factory and the iron works right beside it, I took inspiration from old pictures and paintings, and you can watch the previous videos to find out more about it. It took me a couple of hours, but now I'm sure I got plenty of space to work with. I filled almost seven shelter boxes of grass blocks, dirt and stone, but I still have to terraform all the surrounding ears, or to tear everything down, we will see. Now follow me on this street. The new building will be on our right. At this point, a new path will lead to the entrance. In the meantime, all bricks should be ready. Here they are. Now let's fly to gather some more materials. If you want to know how I do it, if you search for a new cool idea, here she is, here she is. Me and my MC, me and my MC, the best place to be. And then with my brick, with a little chic mountain high or never deep. All you villagers and pillagers, she's gonna show the craft to the secrets of my craft. Assemble and creating and waiting for the new update. Me, my tip of the day. Did you know that you can use skeleton old bows to craft dispensers? Anyway, we got everything. Let's go! On the left side of the building, there's the pub. It's a decorative room and redstone is not visible from here. The real farm is on the other side of the building and I will add it later. As you can see, bricks are playing an important role and I added kelp blocks for the internal walls. The facade of this building is not inspired by a factory, but by a Victorian building built during the Industrial Revolution. And in an industrial city, it's the Salford Museum in Greater Manchester, a beautiful mansion, later turned into an amazing museum. The entrance is decorated with neoclassical columns and details in sandstone blocks. In the attic, there will be another work growing area, not too big, but enough to fill this farm. There will also be a couple of large decorative casks and a nice view of the farm at the ground level. Finally, I choose a glass roof similar to a greenhouse to have a bright and welcoming attic. Now it's time to build the brewer. I must admit, I forgot an important element of the brewing process. Yes, the bothers. So I'm back to my dome to ask the villagers in the trading hall for help. Good morning, sir. Do you happen to have any spare glass? Yeah, I have many librarians with their nice books, and some of them trade glass too. I need 18 stacks of glass, and trading wasn't enough, so I'm gonna dig some sand and do it the old fashioned way. Let's feel the super smelter across the street, and they should light right. Oh, how embarrassing. 
wait for it now while we're waiting for the glass let's come back to the potions pub I told you it was right across the street as you can see I put up some pub decorations the seating area the old style counter and two beer kegs for ale and stout but let's get back to business like many of you I only use two portions in large quantities, Mad Visions for the ancient cities and Fire Rest for the Nether. Let's fill the droppers with the right ingredients. All Nether World's uppers will be refilled from upstairs, but for now let's start with one stack each. The correct order of the ingredients is important, so I use the frames to remember it. The main ingredient goes in the lower dropper. It can be changed, so if one day I should need, say, dozens of free fall potions, I can change this ingredient and the farm will work anyway. Now the empty bottles in the dispensers, for they will be filled automatically. Let's complete the setting with a stack of blaze powder in each brew. And we are ready to go. I'm not red stoner, but at least I understand the basics. This is a stackable brewer from Cortez Reno. I'll put the link in the description. I modify the brewer by adding this little contraption on the right, a bottle filler, because if you're asking me, filling water bottles is far more annoying than brewing potions. I could have added another layer of drops for the 4 step potion like invisibility, but I honestly don't need any of them. Just keep it in mind if you want to build a brewer. In the attic, there's the nether wards fill to refill the droppers whenever I need to. Then some storage in the form of two large oak casks. The glass is ready, but let me add the last touch to the pub. First, we're crafting some banners, orange, green, grey, that will add a bit of color to the building. Follow me on the upper floor where I placed a decorative loom that we're gonna put a good use. This banner is my design and I'm pretty proud about it. First, a white cross and a light grey triangle. Yes, that's how I named them to stay sane. I need a copy of this basic pattern so we can craft two color variations. Now, the color of the potion. Night vision is limeish. Then let's shape it with more grey patterns. Like so. That's the Night Vision Potion Banner. Isn't it beautiful? Let's quickly craft the Fire Rest Banner. And if you want to learn how to craft this one and more custom banners, even with the new Guster and Flow patterns, check my previous video. The first banner goes here, to mark each potion brewer. Then another one goes outside. That's the advertise, like uh, this is a special brew of the day, folks! Let's not waste any more time. The dispenser should be completely filled with empty bottles. Now I'm flicking this lever to start the automatic fillers. Can you hear the sound of the bottle going into place? Finally, let's brew the first potions by clicking this button. I can just wait, so let's go to the back room to give a peep. The first step is the Encore Potion, good. Now the main ingredient and the redstone is ready to go. Oh, the sweet sound of the brewer. It's working and it looks so awesome, I don't want to leave. Oh, that sounded horribly wrong. Uh, so have uh, fun at the pub and then get back home safe, everybody. Let's enable some shaders. Look at the balcony, the details. Let's walk on the street to get a look at the back of the building. Sir, you are in a Lamasa ruining my presentation as usual. Well, that's an oven, or maybe a forge, I don't know. I just wanted a smoking chimney. The industrial district is expanding, the iron wars, the smelter, now the all new brewer pub. And there's so much going on. Please like the video and subscribe so you won't miss the next project.
stay tuned and see you soon. If you wanna know how I do it, if you search for a new cool idea, here she is, here she is. Me and my MC, me and my MC, the best place to be. Building brick by brick with a little chic mountain high or never deep. All you villagers and pillagers, she's gonna show the craft to the secrets of Minecraft. Assemble and creating and waiting for the new update. Don't be a creeper if you like what you see.